Pisces, this is your weekly reading. Okay, what do we need to know? This is for your love life, it's for your destiny, it's for any kind of channel messages that you need this week. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, cross-watching or just passing by. Pisces, ooh, Pisces, Pisces. You need to get clarity on a certain issue, Pisces. Oh, if you can hear gurgling noises, that'll be the dishwasher. <laughs> We're in the kitchen this week. Should, uh, shouldn't last too long, I hope. Yeah, you need to get clarity on a certain issue, Pisces. Could be with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or could just be to do with communicating with somebody. We also get the Hierophant for you, which is the Guru or the Teaching or the High Priest. It's a good week for starting. I mean, we are in the season now of evening classes and further education, things like that. So it's a good week for you to be doing that. And you could find that you have, um, you get some really good epiphanies and it takes you to a place that Pisces always wants to go to, which is like this kind of esoteric, otherworldly space. So it could be a spiritual class, a philosophy class. It could be like a cooking class or mechanics, doesn't matter. Look out for something, whether it's online or whether it's face to face. It's gonna take you somewhere. And I don't think we can quite say where, but you being a Pisces, Pisces do a lot of weird things, okay? This is weird good, so go with it. Then we get the five of pentacles. There is a certain amount this week of doing what Pisces does, which is doing it your own way. Other people might not appreciate that. They might have something to say about it. Um, it's a case really of just having the confidence to move forward alone if necessary, and certainly banging the beat of your own drum. You know, this is definitely a very Pisces kind of a week. Let's have a look. It doesn't feel like, oh, you. It doesn't feel like dividing up into sections. It feels like everything is quite fluid. That's nice. Okay, we get the judgment card. Judgment card is the back to the future card. It is the last week at the moment of Mercury retrograde. It goes direct on Friday, not a moment too soon, where we have a new moon. I think it's in Virgo. Oh God, honestly, it's just been the worst Mercury retrograde in ages. So I feel like Pisces that this week, if I dare say it, Mercury kicks the door on its way out. So just expect delays, frustrations, all the weird stuff. Some of it you just can't predict with Mercury. Some of it you can't put anything in place for it, but just remember that it will be there. It's a very good time for going back to anything that needs to be revised. So looking over your accounts, sorry, just nodded off for a moment there, looking at your finances, giving yourself mass face when you're doing it, but looking over your past, looking at what's happened with somebody, reconfiguring it, it's a very good week for that. If you want to have a conversation with somebody that you think there's unfinished business with, where there was definitely a conversation from before that you want to kind of reopen, definitely. Mercury retrograde is the perfect time for doing that. We also get, thank God, the fool. Things that are happening this week, even though you can't tell, are things that are building a future for you this week, Pisces. And it's weird because it's really hard for us to see it. But very often when there are turning points in our life, which this suggests that there is, they're happening almost behind your back. When they happen in retrograde, you're barely noticing that it's actually happening. It's a very strange sensation. What obstacles are there? What do we need to watch out for, please, this week? Oh, 
We get the two of wands. This is about butting heads with somebody a bit, could be with an Aries or a fire sign. There is something that is quite precious here. There's something that you both want. It could be somebody at work where you're both after the same thing or you both want the same position or you're arguing over the stapler or whatever it is. It's just, I don't know, Pisceans are quite good at stepping down. And the other card I pull suggests that it might be better to just let time take its course with this rather than actually fight it. Let's have Chuck Spezzano Enlightenment card for you, Pisces. For this week, what do we need to look out for, please? Oh, nice. you get the gift of giftedness hard to say when mercury's retrograde for me you discover a key to a door i think this is about learning whether you've always wanted to ice skate whether you want to go and learn french i don't know whatever it is and i have a feeling it's something spiritual something a bit more kind of piscesy this is such a good week to do it. It not only unlocks the door to some knowledge, but it's something you could end up doing for a living or something that's gonna change your life quite a lot this week, which is, you know, it's a bold statement, but it really does feel that way, Pisces. And then you get the healing card of leadership. Again, this is going downstream. It's taking control without being controlling feeling where the current leads you, okay? And where the current leads you is towards something, towards this learning, towards this higher spiritual plane. Maybe in this class as well, you might meet somebody who's very um, your type of person that can show you something. Pisces often, through happenstance, will meet people who can show them the way forward to things that they want. It's almost like you're a magnet for that. Let's have a couple of love cards for you, Pisces. Love. The weather's holding up. They said it was going to be like thundery rain. I've still got the washing out, Pisces. I haven't taken it in. I know. Get me. I'm a gambler. Well, this makes a lot of sense. It's a strange one for you. It's the kind of thing where you're gonna look back and think, that's what she meant, because I can't put it any better than I am. But you get life purpose as your love card. And there's something here about your life purpose as well, and your love life, and learning, and esoterics, that is all coming up this week. You know, now that we have this good old thing, the old internet or tinternet, um, it's definitely possible to link up with all kinds of people. And I think it's a very Piscean way of doing things. So either that or face to face, if there's still places face to face and you really want to kind of press the flesh, as my mum calls it. It's just such, you've got to do it. It's a brilliant time for learning. Get yourself out there, okay? Let's have a shaman's dream card to help you. Yes! Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Now, what do we get? Are these mushrooms? You know what I'm like, Pisces. I can't identify animal, vegetable, or mineral at the moment. Um, gathering around you get the power of community. It doesn't matter if it's online, it doesn't matter if it's face to face, or it's all the same to you, so whichever you prefer, but find a community of like-minded people, okay? And maybe you've got to try a couple of things before you find that, but it will, honestly, it will be a turning point in your life and you will look back, and this is what Mercury Retrograde can give you as a gift, and think, oh yeah, that's when I found the key to whatever it is, okay? 
do check out your monthly reading Pisces. It's in the description box for September, for the whole of September, just for you. And I will see you soon. Namaste.